I'm living Montréal. Yeah. <laughs> I wish this was a joke it's not even a joke it's real i'm really living montreal in one of my last videos my recent videos i shared how i was looking for an internship throughout the summer and i shared how i was struggling to find one i wanted to share that because i knew that at the end of the day i will find something and it would be great to see like how my journey has brought me somewhere you know i'm saying this to say that i ended up finding an internship hello welcome back to my channel i'm just here because i wanted to update you guys i have an interview in today's with this really cool company for a potential internship and i'm so excited about it i still need to prepare though but whoa i cannot believe this we are back we have an interview with a good 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 company i wouldn't lie if i say that i'm not a little worried because i'm gonna need a convention de stage and i'm technically no longer a student i don't know how that is gonna go but i'm gonna go to work now i'm gonna update you guys when i come back home we're going to prepare for the interview the right questions to ask what i need to know about the company everything we're going to prepare and then we take it from there one step at a time also like i need to acknowledge that i actually asked god for this i was like please i really want this and then i woke up and i got the email and i was like oh. i believe that he wouldn't put this on my way if he wouldn't help me figure things out i'm i'm worried but i'm not stressing i'm not like you know because i have decided to not let anything from the outside would disturb my peace it all happens here nothing should disrupt that okay no amount of opportunities of no person on this planet should be able to like disrupt my peace no matter what it is what it is right every problem has its solution i'm going to work now It's officially midnight and I'm preparing my interview with that company I told you about. Okay, basically what I'm trying to do is I take each of the bullet points they have put in the description. Then I try to find in my memory and in my resume something that aligns with that specific task so I can talk about it during the interview. So for example, if they say in this job, you need to gather some data on our customers. Well, what have I done in the past that is relevant to that task? Also, what tools have I used to do that? Just to feel confident in the interview and not panic and be like, uh. <laughs> also, oh, I'm using ChatGPT by the way. He's literally assisting me in everything. So literally ChatGPT is my backbone. But obviously I want to use my brain too because I don't want to lose that skill of being able to think by myself, you know. I have three questions written down now. I want to have at least 10 questions written down. So I know that no matter what, I will have questions to ask him. That's basically it. But then like I literally have to sleep because I have work tomorrow. I'm all ready for my interview. This is going to be amazing i know what i'm gonna say and it's just 30 minutes so how hard can it be bon bah j'ai fini i think i performed well i genuinely feel positive about this anyways i have to sprint now i have to go to to work i just woke up it's literally 8 a.m and i have to get ready right i got the email and they they gave me an offer for the internship i'm literally going to cry we don't cry on the internet okay we don't cry on the internet i want to capture this moment because this is what happens when you ask something to god and it happens we ask him a lot of things and it doesn't always happen but this moment right now i asked something and god gave me that thing believe in yourself believe croire en ses rêves en fait 
I told Malia that I'm leaving next week and she told me to get ready that we're going out today. Today's Friday night. I'm leaving next Friday, so like in a week. So she's taking me out. She said it's a surprise, but she told me it's going to be cold there. I have no idea where we're going, but if I should guess, I think we are going to like an exposition. I wanted to go to Oasis Immersion. It's this place where like you really immerse yourself in art. You are surrounded by art basically. So maybe that's where we're going. I have no idea. I'm just guessing because I really want to go there actually. It's, it's exciting. Like I want to be that friend. I want to be that friend that tells you, hey, get dressed. We are going out. But it's a surprise. It's so fun. Like, let's go. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this dark garage, I think. My jeans, I wear them all the time at this point. And then this bag that I bought at Zara. I feel cute. I like it. Let's go. Yeah, I found an internship in what I can clearly say would be like my dream company. I would have never in my life guessed that I would work in such company. Like I found an internship <laughs> by the grace of God because this is actually like a testimony. I feel like I would like to share one day on my channel like how everything played out and everything. The thing is, it's not in Montreal. I'm living in Montreal basically. <laughs> this vlog is officially like my last one in Montreal. Right now, I'm all dressed up because I'm going out with my friends Malia, Jonathan and Antonio. We're going to have one last dinner together. Today is October 2nd. Today is Tuesday so I'm leaving on Friday in like three days and I have so much to do. I have to do my hair, have to pack my things. Let me show you my outfit, okay? I'm wearing this top from Cezanne. I am in love. I am in love with her. She's so pretty. And actually, Suzanne is like one of those brands I would really, really love to have a collaboration with. Look at her. She's so pretty. She's so... I don't know. I feel like she's flirty, but she's not revealing too much. You know what I mean? And yeah, let's have a fun day out, I guess. I fell in love with Montreal. I genuinely fell in love with Montreal. So it feels like I'm living home. Because like everywhere you live for some time, it starts to feel like your second home, you know? I don't run after places per se. I run after opportunities. So right now this opportunity is calling me somewhere else and that's okay. October 2nd and I officially have 3,000 followers on YouTube. Okay, today is Friday and I'm officially leaving. I'm gonna call on Uber in like 30 minutes. Have packed everything, I have cleaned the room. I mean, I tried. I'm so tired. Basically, I'm running on like three hours of sleep or something like that. This past week has been so hectic. Like I had to braid my hair. I had to do it in a span of few hours. And my friends were telling me to wait until I get there to like do my hair, but I just didn't wanna bring that pressure that, you know, 
I like checking things off my to-do list. So like I, I wanted to get rid of that part, you know. When your your hair is done, it's just like you wake up and you go. I'm super super tired. I just feel like I'm gonna sleep on the plane. I don't know how I feel. Like I'm gonna miss more hair so much because it's gonna be weird that I cannot get out of the house anymore and just go do some grocery shopping or like text Malia and be like hey let's go out let's go for like dinner or something things are changing but I'm so excited for the next chapter I have shared so much with you guys since I came here and I'm not planning on stopping I'm gonna bring you with me for the next chapter I'm excited like I'm so excited to share the next chapter with you guys and life is good I'm grateful I'm really grateful this has not been easy like it has been so hard it has been so hard for me but in everything God has been with me and I know that I'm here because he allowed it basically like he opened the door so yeah I'm grateful I'm gonna show you my room basically yeah I tried to make the bed these are my bags and I don't know why I took the puffer jacket because it's currently sunny in Montreal but I feel like it's gonna be cold where I'm going so I'm just gonna hold that I took out everything my friend is gonna come and pick this up because i cannot put it in my suitcase but yeah i emptied everything i tried to keep it as clean as possible the weight of my suitcase is a little more than 23 kilograms and i hope they're not gonna tell me to pay more at the airport because i've been paying so many things this week and i just i'm over it so yeah this is a goodbye for now montreal i'm gonna come back for sure i'll miss you i'll miss everything about this city but it's just a goodbye it's not an adieu i'll see you soon This is me minutes after realizing that I forgot my laptop at the airport but we were already in the air so there was nothing I could do. I wasn't even that bothered and I wasn't scared. I took out my agenda and I wrote down all the good things I learned from my time in Montreal and what I'm bringing with me into the new chapter. My main points were being grateful for the people I met in Montreal, for the videos I got to create and for the person I grew into while living there. Being excited for the place i'm moving to and for the amazing work opportunity i got there i also listed out all the goals for the upcoming chapter the kind of life i want to live there and the kinds of people i want to surround myself with and to finish i also listed out all the things i'm grateful for and i never felt more alive